how do you add kink into a relationship that maybe wasn't kinky? I'm here with Stella Harris from StellaHarris.net, a romance and intimacy and kink educator. Um, and I am Reed Bahalka from ReadAboutSex.com. Stella, Reed. give us some advice because I'm not really kinky. I teach a rough sex for nice folks workshop because I have kinky friends who want me to do kinky things to them. Mm -hmm. But you are somebody who identifies as, as kinky. I do. Okay, that Identify was good. as kinky. I identify I was as... I afraid I just outed you. As all of those things. No, I'm very out as all of those things. And in my experience, rough sex is kind of vanilla code for kink. I think a lot of the same things happen in rough sex mm -hmm. as happen in kink. And it's a matter of deciding how you self-identify. So, you know, hair pulling, rough body play, any of that. You can call it rough sex, you can call it kink. Mm -hmm. It's totally up to you. I feel like sometimes what defines kink more is when you're naming it mm -hmm. and you have a category for it, you have a space to go for education. And another thing that tends to define it is when people are having the conversations around consent and around negotiation. Um, in some vanilla sexual encounters, you know, someone might just start pulling your hair without asking first. Mm -hmm. And when it's in a kink context and people who have gone to some classes, done some reading around kink, they tend to know to ask first, to negotiate first, to make sure they know a person's limits and their wants um, before they just dive in and try things. Mm -hmm. So it's just like doing lovemaking, just don't start pulling your partner's hair to hope that everything goes well? Ideally not. No, I think I know people feel like asking or talking during sex can be awkward, but I mm -hmm. think having bad sex or crossing someone's boundaries is a whole lot more awkward than mm -hmm. taking a moment to ask. Um, so having those conversations in advance, ideally when you're not even in the bedroom, not mm -hmm. negotiating naked, doing it at a coffee shop, doing it by text message, doing it when sex is not inevitable so you don't feel like you're in a rush to get to the things. Um, it's easier to have those conversations. And arousal muddles the brain a little bit. So mm -hmm. doing it outside of those contexts when you're thinking totally clearly um, and then you don't have to think totally clearly when you're in the middle of having fun. And for people who... Um who maybe aren't good at talking about these things yet because maybe they just haven't explored enough um, to have words, right? Because that's a, a big thing in, in sex in general is when you're trying to explore things you've never explored before, there's a good chance you don't even have vocabulary. And English right. is mm -hmm. not the best vocabulary for nuanced discussions mm -hmm. about pleasure. Yeah. What What's a good resource or books, yeah. um, a couple of that, pop into your head that would be good for beginners? Sure. So when I teach classes about this, one of the things I cover is how do you ask for what you want when you don't know what you want? Um, one great resource for that is something that's known as a yes, no, maybe list. Mm -hmm. You can download that on my website. Okay. Or give, give me the link. Give me the link. This is good. <laughs> StellaHarris.net. Um, under resources, you can find a yes, no, maybe list. Okay. So here's what I'm going to do. This is going to be exciting. <laughs> Because we're going to keep this video short because this, this is a longer question. So okay. come back for the next video. We're going to talk more about the books and mm -hmm. the resources because I want to give us time for that one. Okay. Okay, but, but StellaHarris.net, resources, yes, no, maybe list. Come back for the next, uh, next video with Stella <laughs> and we'll dive into books and things like that for beginners. Ready, set, leave a comment. Thanks for tuning in, Sex Geek. If you would like to continue with the brain sex, do me a favor and click subscribe right here. If you'd like to watch me on social media, that's where you're going to go. Next video, maybe? And if you really would like your own Sex Geek t-shirt, please click right here, right now. Boop. N no, no, really, like... <laughs>